Hey folks, back again with some more tracker action here. A question that always seems to come up is how do you sharpen this thing? And truth be told, I don't have to sharpen it much at all really. Um, a strop is really all that I use on them 90% uh, of the time. My larger ones, I don't do anything to the edge geometry at all. The smaller ones, I will change this front side here. Move some of this stuff. I'll change the edge here. I'm just shaving my arm with it while I go. But I'll change this, the edge from here to the quarter round. And I'll make it one continuous angle. This still has the little boot and then the, the main grind a secondary bevel. I'm not sure exactly what you call that. I guess I need to talk to a knife maker. Um, if somebody knows the specific term for that or want to make one up that sounds good, drop it in the comments and I'll share that because uh, I'd like to know. I'd called it knocking the fat off of it one time. Actually, somebody else called it that from Bear Forest Knives and then I've been using it. But So, a factory one is going to be like this edge all the way up and It'll work the same way. If they're sharp, all you need is a strop. This is from HCO Strops, my buddy Alan makes a nice strop. This guy lives by my chair, so I use it quite a bit. And it just, it's got a very rewarding sound to it. Very ASMR. But that's all you gotta do for the front. Even if you've changed the edge geometry, as long as you don't hit anything and damage this blade, a strop's all it's going to take. Now, and uh, before I go to this one, if you have to sharpen this for any reason, a stone will work easily from here to here. The, it's this quarter round area that gets everybody freaked out. And it's not a big deal. So I took, I just took a stick and I wrapped it in leather and I glued this leather to it. I just zip tied it in several places. And I put clear Gorilla Glue on the stick and it just put a nice little round strop on there. This would work good for hook knives or uh, I, I mainly use it for this. But it's the same deal. You just get that cord around on there and push away from yourself. And you register it on the backside and go back. It's not. Not, nothing super complex. And that's all you have to do to keep this dude sharp. Now, if you hit a, a nail or a rock or something crazy, which happens, and you put a nick in this front side, stones will work to clean it up. If you nick this back side, it's harder to get in here. That's where these two tools come in handy. Just a ceramic rod and a diamond rod. Um, I've about wore this guy out. I don't use it that much anymore. But the, uh, the rounded edge of it will go perfectly into this quarter round. If you don't make that sound, it won't work. I'm not going to do it because my blade is sharp. But it's not, it's not super hard. And the biggest part of that comes to maintaining the edge is easy compared to sharpening a knife. You, once you get it sharp, you want to maintain that edge. And that's done with these guys. And to actually sharpen it or knock a burr off, you want to use these or a, or a stone of some sort. Um, I got another video coming up where I'm actually changing the edge geometry on the front here. And um, I'll talk more about how to do that. But um, for now, that's uh, that's how I sharpen one of these trackers. It's, it's not super complicated. You can make stuff as complicated as you want to. But anywho, the, uh, this is the, the knife of the month. I've done a prior video on this thing talking about some issues that I had with it and how I fixed it with the clear Gorilla Glue. I'm going to do a... Do you hear what I said? Clear Gorilla Glue. It sounded good. I didn't know what I was talking about for a second. Well, I don't have time. But anyway, I'm going to do one on how we do this dude. 
and there's gonna be a lot more coming from this knife this was the knife of the month so a boker knives made dave wenger designed micro tracker so uh, it's had a couple hiccups along the way but it's a super sweet knife i really like it the design is impeccable uh, anywho i'll holler at you guys feel free to uh, like and subscribe there's lots of stuff coming down the line i'm trying to make up all of the videos that disappeared on the igtv when they decided they weren't going to do that anymore so i've got lots of stuff to do uh, coming up i just need time to do it so again thanks y'all later